ladies and gentlemen. The Packers have signed a wide receiver. Nation, welcome to another episode of Podcast, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom. Look, guys, we did it. We drafted a wide receiver. This is the receiver you were talking about, right? Grassi. And today we're going to be breaking down the signings of wide receiver Tavon Austin and defensive lineman Anthony Rush. So let's start off with the defensive lineman Anthony Rush because there's honestly not a lot to talk about on that front. So Anthony Rush, who is a 6'4", 361-pound behemoth defensive lineman, has been claimed by the Green Bay Packers off waivers after the Chicago Bears cut him just after spending a few weeks with the team. Rush has not played a ton of football. In 2019, he only played nine games with the Philadelphia Eagles, racking up two passes defended and nine tackles. And this year, he's Spent four games with the Seattle Seahawks, racking up a half a sack and five overall tackles. Now, this move just makes a lot of sense considering we put Montrevious Adams on IR because he was dealing with that toe injury all year in that we just needed somebody to throw at Derrick Henry when we wind up playing him later this season. And Anthony Rush seemed to be that guy. I mean... Can Derrick Henry stiff arm a 361-pound man? So this seems to just be a cheap pickup that is going to fill a gaping hole in that Packers run defense, and hopefully Anthony Rush can contribute because we need somebody to, please, for the love of God. Kenny Clark can't do it by himself. And then the big news of the day is the Green Bay Packers signing Tavon Austin to the active roster, not the practice squad. Tavon Austin, the 29-year-old, is a kick return specialist, and I am actually super-duper excited to see what he could do for the team. The floor actually worked with Tavon Austin back when he was with the Rams in 2017. Austin then spent 2018 and 19 with the Dallas Cowboys, and he's been kind of chilling ever since. And this is another move that makes a lot of sense. One, it's a weapon that maybe he could be utilized within the offense, but honestly, I'm looking at him as just a guy who's not going to fumble the ball looking at you, Darius Shepard, and I think this might be the end of your tenure in Green Bay and back to the practice squad. Because Tavon Austin earlier in his career was incredibly explosive. Since 2013 entering the league, he has had 185 returns, over 1,400 yards, and three touchdowns. Now, these last few years with Dallas, he wasn't as great, obviously, you know, kind of getting into the twilight of his career, but considering Tyler Irvin has been dealing with a nag injury this is perfect they had Malik Taylor back there last night returning kicks and you know it was it was what it was but here Tavon Austin could be a spark in a very very anemic return game just how like last year we literally had negative yards before we brought in Tyler Irvin I imagine Tavon Austin is going to be able to fill in quite nicely in the return game which will also allow Tyler Irvin to be utilized even more on offense and not get as much wear and tear on him in the return game so obviously these moves are not you know world changing but I think it addresses two very big needs for the Green Bay Packers and at the bare minimum I mean, it can't be worse than what we already had at this point. So I think that these are pretty damn good signings, and we got both of them for pretty darn cheap. On top of that, you did have wide receiver Kenny Stills clear waivers. Of course, if the Green Bay Packers wind up signing him, I will let you know. But right now, we will just be sitting and waiting. But listen, all those people clamoring for a wide receiver in the draft. You got 29-year-old Tavon Austin. Exactly what you wanted. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you like these signings? Are you excited for it? I'm looking for a little spark. I'm looking for a little juice in the return game. So I'm all about it. You can always find me at TomGrassyComedy.com or at TomGrassyComedy on all social media. See down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and of course YouTube. And a big shout and thank you to all the patrons over at Patreon.com slash TomGrassyComedy and the YouTube members. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassy. And as always, Go Pack Go.